Hi guys, my name is Becca. I am the content moderator here at Blogettes, and so I create a lot of content for our social media. And one of those, which is my favorite, is Snapchat. So today we are gonna go over some Snapchat hacks that you can use when you're sending snaps to your friends or posting them on your story. So let's start off by um, teaching you guys how to add multiple filters to one photo. So I'm gonna open Snapchat, I'm gonna take a picture of my face. <laughs> um, and so normally when you add a filter, you just swipe to the right or to the left and there's tons of options. So they have like color filters, they have speed, um, the temperature, we're in Phoenix, so it's 104. Um, it tells you the time and then it also has geo filters. So these are, we're in Phoenix right now. So these are the areas of town that we're in. So if I want to add multiple, I'm gonna select one, so this is like the brighter one. I hold my thumb down with like one and then I swipe till I get like the next one that I want. So let's say we wanna add the temperature. So two filters total right now. If we wanna add another, again, I hold down my thumb and I can say that I'm in Phoenix. And so that's just like an, a fun way that you can create multiple filters and let people know you're in a place while still looking pretty. <laughs> the next hack I'm gonna teach you guys is how to add multiple lines of text to your captioning when you're adding like text to a Snapchat. So we're gonna start by taking a picture of Carly. This is like some filming inception right here. And so um, typically, like if you're adding text, you can basically have like three lines, like it's gonna let you use. I'm gonna make a space, I'm gonna make a space. Making lots of pretty words. So actually it's cutting me off at two. So I don't know why it says paper spending displays, but so a way to go around this is um, if you want more lines, you can just go to your notes folder. And here I'm gonna press return five times or however many times you want. I think it cuts you off at five. You're gonna select all, wow, that's a lot. Copy, and I'm gonna paste it after, or paste it, cut this, then paste. And it's gonna give me all these spaces to write. So I can put, hi, Carly, it's Becca. Um, this is so cool. I'm having fun filming. So that's just like a really, oh, it looks really pretty too. Uh, uh, just a cool way to add more more space to text if you need it. Okay, now this is a Snapchat hack that I am new to and it's how to create your own filter. It can be any color or anything. It just like adds a really pretty gradient to your photo. And so again, I'm gonna take a picture of myself. Hey, that am so lame. So um, let's say I want a purple filter to go on it. Um, I'm going to select an emoji from the stickers board that is purple. So let's do the devil. <laughs> so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the emoji until it's ginormous. And then I'm going to keep expanding and expanding and I'm going to like move it to the corner until it's big enough where I'm just getting a tiny bit of that purple color and I'm going to be a purple covered girl. Kind of cool and you can really do that with any color too so let's say i wanted to add um carly what's your favorite color yellow yellow we're gonna add a yellow hue to this as well so i'm gonna place another yellow heart on top and i'm gonna keep expanding it and expanding it and moving it to the corner so that kind of creates a gradient it kind of looks like the sun's colors what a perfect phoenix thing to do um so it's kind of a um nifty little filter there and I created my own gradient and you can make it with any color or any emoji that you want. I'm going to show you guys how to make different colored um, words on your text. So I'm going to take a picture of our couch and I'm going to say this is a couch. Um, so in order to get this to be like the big thick white text I'm going to press the the T in the top right corner once for um, left alignment and twice for center 
And another little hack you can do to like reformat the alignment and the, the spacing is like to tap the text again and then you can pinch or expand it to however you really want it to be formatted. So I want it all on one line. So I'm gonna press enter, I'm gonna put it right about the couch and then I'm gonna hit it again and I'm gonna select which word I wanna change the color to and we'll do yellow again because it's Carly's favorite color. A yellowy green okay yellow and so that is really gonna change the color of the words and you can also do that to individual letters as well and we're done and this is a couch super easy and you can make any color you want now if you are wanting to draw on your pictures and you want different colors than like the standard red that always shows up there's a little hack to that so I'm gonna take a picture of the windows we're kind of limited with our photos here. So, um, I'm gonna press a little pen button in the top right corner, and then you have this little like rainbow here from colors that you can select from, but you can also drag your finger across the screen, and in like the lower left-hand corner is black. If you keep dragging and you go up to the top, it's gonna be white or pink. Um, I actually really like that pink, so let's stick with the pink, and I'm gonna put um, this is a window. And we do this a lot when we're adding like text to a photo for like the blogettes and the photo is kind of busy and you can't really read the text um, in front of or on top of all of the busy things that's going on. So since this window is kind of busy like that, I'm gonna clear these drawings by pressing the undo button in the top right hand corner. There's one more. I'll put a text. This is a window. Window. I'm gonna center it. Make it small. And sometimes I will like pick a like a peachy color like that. And then I'll draw behind it so it makes it just a little bit easier to read on a busy picture. And it's really cute too. Okay, so say you want to write a message to your followers or to like a Snapchat friend and you don't have enough space or you're not looking so cute, so you just need like a plain background. So for this one, I'm going to take a picture of whatever. You can literally take a picture of whatever. And I'm going to pick an emoji again. Um, let's do, um, let's do the lemon. I'm doing yellow a lot, so I lied but this is another hack you can use. You just drag this when it's on your screen and put it to the delete button. Um, let's do rainbow, that's really cute. So I'm gonna expand this. That looks really psychedelic. And then you can just add text on top. Hey, what's going on? I'm filming for bloggets. This is trippy. Trip, trippy. Super trippy, so 70s, it's really cute. So there's this really nifty feature that you can just access on the internet and it's called Snapchat Memories. Um, and so I'll take you guys there just through like the Safari app. I'm gonna Google Snapchat Memories. Memories. And then I'm gonna click the first um, option. And all it's going to ask you for is your first and last name, your Snapchat username, and your email address. And at the end of every month, it's going to send you a compilation of every single Snapchat you've taken that month. So it's just like a cute little memory book or like scrapbook thing for your Snapchat use. Um, but if you don't want to do that, uh, Carly, our videographer, does this thing where she made um, herself her own like second username on Snapchat. And so she'll send herself to that second username every single snapchat that she creates and then like at the end of the month or at the end of the year or however long you want to wait you can just watch all of your snapchats at once so another option for if you want to watch what you've been creating so thanks so much for tuning into uh, youtube today to watch these snapchat hacks i hope you guys learned a lot and can use them for your snapping purposes if you guys want to stay updated with more hacks be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and give this video a thumbs up but other than that, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.